from the artist Trevor Coleman, a British artist working out of Johannesburg, South Africa. I did art for matric, and then after matric I did art at the Technicon, and then went to London for five years, working at the Central School of Art, British Museum, and all the art galleries that I could manage. The experience in London was tremendous for me. It gave me a lot of new ideas and new techniques and things like hard edge and op art that were very current in London in the 60s. I brought to South Africa. In the beginning, the South African public didn't know what I was painting. I said, are you mad? What is hard edge? What is pop art? We've never seen it before. So anyway, I had a couple of exhibitions and then eventually the public started understanding the new ideas. And then I just kept painting and painting. I then opened my own art gallery in Johannesburg, showing young artists and exhibiting my own work. And then most importantly, I started traveling. I went to India three times, I went to Morocco, Senegal, Zanzibar, and all these new places gave me wonderful ideas for my art. Using hard edge technique like this behind me, I created a whole new series of art, which I showed in one of the leading galleries in Johannesburg, which I did very successfully. My Zanzibar exhibition was a sellout, first time ever in my life, and uh, the public just really loved it. Using that same hard edge technique that I lear learnt in London, but applying it to the figurative art, using strong colour, which I love, it's my favourite media, oil on canvas. From there I just kept painting, travelling, Senegal, uh, uh, Morocco again, I went to Libya, I went to Tunisia, Egypt, um, all over Africa. Then I started travelling back to India again. I loved the colour in India, it was wonderful. And that inspired me to do a whole lot, a series of paintings on India. Um, I went to Bali, again very exotic colour shapes, textures, all that's very important to my ideas to paint. From there I started going back into the abstraction but the strong colour was still there which I love and using a palette knife and oil on canvas again and acrylic on canvas I did a whole series of abstract art. I had a lot of shows from there and some were successful, some weren't. But I don't think that's the idea of the artist, is the commercial side. If you're a true artist, the art is the most important thing in your mind. If you sell, then it's great. It's a bonus. But painting and art is your main purpose. It's your main stream. And I think people get digressed. They want to get the money first and then the art second, and then the art disappears. And then I did a lot of photography while I was travelling to get ideas for the paintings. I then translated the slides into photographs, which I had a huge exhibition at Museum Africa, and uh, it hung beautifully, but selling again wasn't that wonderful. But that was it. I had the photographs and it was a wonderful show. From there, I exhibited odds and ends around Johannesburg. I had a big one-man show in London in 2000 of the Moroccan paintings. Um, and it was a wonderful exhibition, selling a couple, but that was not, not that important. The show in Cork Street in London was very important for my CV. I just kept painting, traveling, exploring, getting new ideas, painting abstract, painting figurative, 
as long as I'm working in the studio, that's the most important thing. Um, I then met up with some art dealer, Tyrone, who has an art gallery in four ways, and he was very keen on my work. He gave me a first one-man show in his gallery on Zanzibar, which hung beautifully. We sold quite a few pieces, but there again, the whole idea of painting, the experience of Zanzibar, was the most important thing to me. And I've got a lot of his, my work at Tyrone's Gallery. All my earlier work from London on the hard edge of art, I had a big exhibition at Slack Gallery in Stellenbosch. That's a leading top art gallery in the Cape. And the exhibition was really like a museum exhibition. And it hung beautifully. They did a book and uh, a lot of people congratulated me. The newspapers did big articles and a lot of people said that was wonderful work. They'd never seen it before. But, um, but there it was. It was a wonderful exhibition. So I'm planning for the future more travel, more exploration, doing a lot more abstract work, oil on canvas, oil on board, and then just exploring. And from there we'll take it from there and see what happens in 2016.